What's up everybody, my name is Westward Sale, and today we are talking about the Ouya. I think it's called that, I think it's pronounced that. It's the new system that digitally, digitally gives you games on your TV. It's an Android based little device that you hook up to your TV and streams of games of emulators come to your TV. Now, when I look at Ouya, the first thing that I remember is a device that came out a couple of years ago, the OnLive system. The OnLive system is a little box just like the Ouya with a controller that delivered games to your TV. Now, these two things are very similar in design and features. The only thing is, in my personal opinion, OnLive has much better games, plus the OnLive and the Ouya are the same price. Wait a minute. The On Live has uh, has recent games. They have Sleeping Dogs, The Witcher 2, Darksiders 2, Darkness 2, Assassin's Creed Revelations. They stopped they stopped putting ver quite like really new games to it because they don't have much support anymore because of Ouya. But if you compare the game library, On Live is better because when you Part two to this is that on live is now offering play everything, play anything, unlimited play, ten dollars a month. They're both same price, they're both a hundred dollars. On live has a thing where you can play anything, plays unlimited for ten dollars a month. Okay, it's just I don't know why people are going nuts. This is just another thing for the consumers to put their hands around. And plus, it came to the it came to the came to the stores and it. it, it there's a host of problems. Uh, there's Kickstarters, people are going nuts about it. It's probably been on Joystick, it's probably been on Kataku, you know. I don't see it. It's just another thing for the consumers to just grasp at it and take from the take from the reins, you know. So it's been my opinion. I think the Ouya is very similar to the OnLive. The OnLive possibly be better because aside from a, th a few 3D games that, that have already been released on the PC, and have been doing mediocre. I don't see anything revolutionary about the Ouya. I really don't. I think OnLive is much better. And it just OnLive went under the radar. So is Ouya. Give it a, give, give it a few weeks. Ouya is going to go under the radar just as OnLive did. OnLive had a big, big explosion of momentum from fans, and they're just cool. So if you don't know what OnLive is, I'll give uh, I'll put you a link down here. I'll put Ouya down here too. A link to their official websites. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Reaction out.